Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you a super simple table saw upgrade that you can do. It only takes about 10 minutes and I'm using only scrap materials, but it's going to make a huge difference in your workflow. Let's go ahead and get started. So if you have a job site style table saw like I do, you probably got one of these that came with it. And this is called a miter gauge. This is a very simple version. There are much more expensive versions that have a lot of other options, but we can actually upgrade this one to make it much, much better than it is right now and have a really useful tool that we can use with our saw. So this particular miter gauge just fits in a little T-track um, that goes in my saw and it just slides along here. And the idea is that you can use this to cut pieces. But the challenge with this particular one is it's not very safe. And the reason why is because if you're cutting a long piece here, you don't really have any support. And so that can cause these pieces to twist as you're pushing it through, which is obviously um, going to be a hazard. So that's one thing that um, is not great about this. And the second part is you're going to be able to utilize things like a stop block um, to get precise repeated cuts and you're just gonna make the whole process a lot safer because you can cut very small pieces um, and I'll show you how and it's gonna be super clean because we're gonna have a supportive piece behind it. All right, so let's get started. I have a scrap piece of three quarter inch plywood here as well as our miter gauge and we're gonna go ahead and put this together. All right, so we can see right now we have um, this piece is the plywood's going a little bit beyond our blade and that's what we want. The reason why is because as we cut pieces, this is gonna help keep them nice and supported as they go through, um, which will help limit tear out and things like that. So you're gonna want to basically position this where this is maybe a couple inches beyond the saw blade on one side and then however far you want on the other side. I plan to only use this for small pieces, so I didn't pick a particularly large piece of plywood and this is just what I had laying around in the garage. So um, I'm gonna position mine just like this. And you can see on the bottom of my miter gauge, some of them already have holes drilled. In my case, there's like these little slots here. So that's what I'm going to use to secure it. So we're just going to mark this out and then that'll show us where we will drill our holes. So next we just want to uh, pre-drill some holes here and then we can use some screws to secure into this. In my case, I just browse through my giant jar of extra screws and came across these ones. It's not perfect. Uh, I'll probably add washers to these later, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm just using these small uh, lath screws and I think that'll work just fine. So I've got my trusty DeWalt drill here and I'm just going to drill some little holes in the areas that we marked. So in my case, this is gonna be the kind of hard part. Um, I'm gonna to have to secure these screws in here. I guess I'll just need to get a long screwdriver. But a lot of other models have this a little bit easier than this particular one. Um, so we'll still make it work, but hopefully you'll have just a, a little hole to drill through. and let's go ahead and put it on the saw. So obviously one of the important considerations here is making sure that this is nice and square. So it looks like in this case, we are pretty good with this, how it is now. And you can see there is like a little angle gauge and you just loosen this to adjust it. Um, in my case, I already had it set to 90 degrees and you can see here it looks like we are in pretty good shape. Um, if you have a digital angle gauge, that would probably be even better than what I have. But um, 
I'm working with what I do have. As you can see, this little 10 minute project is super versatile. You can even use a stop block with it, which is really convenient. Um, I just set mine up with a little clamp and clamp it down and that makes things a lot easier. Um, certainly if you wanted to install like a flip down stop block or something like that, that's an option. You could add T-Track to this. There's a lot of different things that you can do, um, but this is just the most simple, most basic way to set it up. And it's going to make your table saw a lot more versatile, um, especially if you don't have a crosscut sled already. This is just a really simple, easy upgrade, and it also doesn't take up a lot of space. This is just one of those little 10 minute projects that's so simple, there's no reason not to try it. And especially if you're looking at getting one of the more expensive miter gauges, it's definitely worth investing the few minutes um, and a little bit of materials to put this together and upgrade what you already have. I hope that you found this video helpful and if you did, I would really appreciate if you consider subscribing to my channel and check out some of my other videos because I have a lot of other great DIY and home improvement projects coming for you soon. Thanks for watching.